hi guys welcome back and today i'm gonna talk about how to prepare for an exam i know it's kind of still kind of early in the semester but i feel like having these tips now for you to just like start practicing or like um i know a lot of our population is also um undergrad students so students who are waiting for admissions and i know you guys have like exams in high school and stuff like that that are really big um like sats um maybe taking ap classes if you're taking current moment so these are like, these tips are just in generalized for everybody who wants to hear them <laughs> So let's get started. Our first one is do not pull an all-nighter. An all-nighter is when you stay up late studying. Don't do that. Um, as a college major, I have learned about a lot about sleep. And sleep actually helps your mind and your body just heal back and just relax. And if you're not letting your body do that, that's why the next day you're not going to be able to concentrate. You're never going to remember what you actually studied. And it was just a waste of time for you to do the all-nighter. Instead, study three to four days before so um let's say your exam is on friday study um maybe on a monday or on the weekend i know it's kind of hard to study on the weekends but at least try to you don't have to do all day studying no just do like three hours of studying um and take breaks i use the most i study for is like five hours for a class and like that's like the most because i know personally i don't really like studying um for long periods of time because it makes my it makes me stress about it even more um, I always have my candles. I don't know if you can see them, but I love putting on a candle and a lot of there have been a lot of studies that like chewing gum or like smelling something um, while you're studying and you're smelling it again during the test. It helps your brain like remember what you were actually studying for. Um, it's just a cool psychology tip, you know. Um, but yeah, another tip is make sure you have a good night's sleep. Like I said, as a psychology major, I have learned about like a lot about the sleep um, stages and what they do to you. Sleep actually helps you remember stuff better so let's say you learn something um you practice it or like you read it over before you sleep that night you're gonna remember even more because your brain is like trying to figure out where to put it in your brain instead of like just putting it in the area where like stuff is forgotten the next day it'll become more permanent in your brain so make sure you have a good sleep just so you don't you're not stressed about like you didn't get enough sleep and you're like drowsy during the exam the other most make sure you eat breakfast breakfast is the most important meal of the day they say that literally because um the first thing you should do is drink water like obviously not this whole but like i feel like a cup um that's what they say is really good to start your digestive system and to start your body if you just drink a, a cup of water obviously it's not going to be enough uh would we'll say just drink um eat a get a breakfast burrito a donut i know like don't get sugary things so like if you get a coffee don't get like a frappe um get like just regular coffee don't add too much sugar dips because they are gonna um make you be like very like how do you say like very like you know like when you're like in the exam and you get jittery like it'll make you get even more jittery which is gonna make your heartbeat accelerate which is gonna make you be less concentrated during the exam because that has happened to me i took um let's say like a double shot of espresso and like a frappuccino during my exam and let's just say it was not the best and concentrated i was just looking around my heart was like palpitating so like do not take um energy drinks before an exam just don't you um i know a lot of cases that some of my friends say it helps but a lot of them are like no i just couldn't concentrate during the exam so don't be one of those people the next one is rem before the exam review your notes and just relax so um i recommend just having um a how do you call it a con concrete map or well i call it a concrete map but it's basically it's a, just a diagram where you have your big idea so let's say you're studying about cells so you'll have like let's say like the cell system and then you have like little errors um coming out um and it's like let's say we say you have the cell membrane we have um how cells reproduce so mitosis and if it's a sex cell like meiosis and like off there you have like another like okay what are the topics here this just helps you summarize everything you learned in just a little quick sheet and you just look at it and like okay like this is this and this like photosynthesis does this um cell respiration does this like or like you can do a diagram whatever helps you just co to compress your notes um just before exam just to give a quick overview will help you succeed because you'll you'll jog your memory the last tip is if you have anxiety your um Ask your professor if you can bring a slime or small ball. I know during our last final week um, in the December, yeah, when we were still in school, um, there's a lot of um, clubs that did like slime or like gave stress balls. I know the professors do allow it. Um, just make sure it's okay with your professor because um, some professor are going to be like no or something like that. But like I don't have my stress ball, but I, I 
it helped me i was just taking the test and i was just playing with it or i was just like rubbing it around obviously you want you don't want to make noise since other students are taking the exam with you and you don't want to um distract them but as long as you just like are to yourself and like don't make a lot of noise i feel like it would be okay but make sure to ask your, prof your professor and i'm pretty sure they'll be okay with it and those are the tips all i have for today if you have any questions please feel free to dm us and we'll be happy to respond